Hello, my name is Todd Hutchison and I'm fascinated by long-standing global businesses who deliver high quality products to a niche market. As a student of arms, meaning a person who studies the history of firearms, one of my very favourite companies is that of the Italian firearm manufacturer called Beretta. And I'm sure I might not have the exact Italian pronunciation correct. But it was founded in the 16th century, and Beretta carries the family name of its founder and master gun barrel maker, Mastro Bartolomeo Barretta. Actually, and most impressively, the company remains owned by the family even today. Well, the business originally produced rifle barrels back in 1526 from its birthplace in an Italian village called Gardoni. By 1698, they were the second largest gun barrel producer in Gardoni and later moved from just manufacturing barrels in the 1850s to move to full firearms. Now the key point here is that it's the oldest active firearm manufacturer in the whole wide world. Its claims to fame are many and include having supplied firearms to every major European war since 1650. Now that is impressive. In 1915, Breda produced a model called the Model 1915, which was the company's first pistol. And by the end of World War II, they were making 4,000 of these a month. It was the Breda Model 1918, following the same thing, it was built in 1918, that was one of the very first submachine guns in the world. And having such a long history, you can imagine it was not always easy sailing for the company. For example, Breda was even seized by the Nazis in World War II to produce arms for their purpose. And after the war, they returned to building firearms for police, military, and even a civilian market. It's the Breda PT-92, which in its military form was called the M9 pistol that became famous after being selected as the US Army service gun in the 1980s. This was the largest military contract and really put the Breda brand on the favourite list of many military personnel and veterans alike. And probably most interesting to firearm owners today is that Breda holding parent entity also has the brands Benelli, Francini, Seiko, Stogar, Tika, Ubitu and the Burris Optics Company. You may also be interested in the design of the Beretta logo. The original was updated in 1526 and has become a globally recognised icon logo for the brand. The current version is a circle with three arrows arranged in a trident-like format within it. Now the arrows is said to represent the three warning shots of the battleship. The arrow on the left represents the first warning shot fired at the ship's stern. The arrow on the right represents the second warning shot fired at the ship's bow. And the central arrow is the last round fired aimed at the ship, where a ship would not yield from its earlier warning shots. Now an earlier version of the logo carried the description Dare in Brocchia, that means hit the target. And you may also notice that some current logos carry the P. Beretta inscription that represents P for Petro Beretta, who was the father of the industrialized Beretta company. Though the company was passed from father to son, it was Ugo Gasali Beretta who married into the family and took up the name. His sons became the descendants Franco and Pareto. In fact, Franco Gassiali Beretta leads the entity today. Now, Beretta's firearms product line is vast and spans revolvers, semi-automatic handguns, shotguns, rifles, some machine guns, machine pistols, and even a launcher. So in summary, the very essence of its value mission to provide a total commitment to quality remain solid after five centuries. Well done to the Breda family and the legend of the firearms bearing its great name.